I've always thought that the word freedom is one of the most beautiful words in the English language. Even when you say freedom, you have to smile when you say free. So it's positive, it's cheerful, makes you happy. It releases tension, all the positive things of life. And that is why just now, when so many people are experiencing no freedom at all, total lack of freedom, that the world is in such a dangerous place. First, we don't understand quite why the coronavirus has appeared in our lives. I know that I've been here at home for, well, next week will be two months without going out, but I'm very lucky because I can come out of here and go into the garden. There are so many people for whom I feel the deepest anxiety, who are virtually locked in apartments in high-rise blocks, able now to go out for an hour a day, that's not, re that's not freedom. And when they're cooped up together, all the relationships that may be, or some of them that might have been very sensitive, are even more sensitive now than before. And with children, with nothing to do, no expression, it's one of the biggest challenges the world has ever faced. What it has done, I feel though, it's, it's made a lot of people think about the word freedom in a different way as regards other species of creatures, animals. The Born Free Foundation, as some people may know, has worked for 36 years trying to highlight the deprivation of keeping wild creatures in captivity, sometimes in the most horrible, almost prisons, you could say. Well, in my view, they are prisons. Some are more comfortable than others, but the worst are truly the worst. And these animals have never known, and certainly will never know, what it is to be free, particularly predators. And the Born Free story, which began because of a lion, a predator, we do concentrate a great deal on big cats, but any living creature with a beating heart, the birds that can't fly because they're in aviaries or cages. As I've just said, I live in the country and I see the wild birds flying through the sky every day. It's an absolute joy for the birds as well as me. And so this crisis we're in, which eventually we will come out of, will leave us in a very different mental and emotional state, I think. We will be nervous that it may return, but I want it to change more than our lives, the human lives. I want it to change the way we look at animals' lives in captivity. And I hope most sincerely and fervently that we think differently about the confinement of wild creatures in circuses and zoos, because they are in prison for life. They will never walk out of the cage as I can walk out into my garden. And that's responsibility of ours to put right. <laughs>